member of a band called Tindersticks, which is uh, a British band which I joined about five years ago. It, it's it's varying all the time. Uh, it's changing. It depends on the producer. A lot of times, sometimes I'm called in by the producer of the project, uh, which is the case of, for example, uh, Seal and Robbie Williams, uh, Pet Shop Boys. In those cases, I was brought in by Trevor Horn, who's the producer that I work with a lot. Uh, in other situations, um, I'm brought in through the other musicians themselves. Um, for instance, I did a record recently with Joe Jackson, who he contacted me himself about doing the record. I just did uh, some albums uh, with uh, people like Mary J. Blige and Sam Smith, um, w in which case both I was brought in by the songwriters and uh, engineers. So it really d varies depending on the project. Udo and I got to know each other on a recording session with a German artist named Max Herre and uh, for his album and in that record he wanted to have a bit of a retro sound to the record and so they had contacted Udo about bringing vintage kits and, and vintage instruments to the session um, of his own as well as some of his own drums. Um, to get a certain kind of sound, mostly from early 70s sort of sounds, and uh, we got to know each other on that session. I love the Massoff drums because they're extremely flexible. I, I like to... Um, I tend to like one of two things, either something that which only does one thing, <laughs> or something which can, on the other side, something which can do a lot of different things. And a, a lot of drums, I find, a lot of the instruments do a fair amount of, a, or do a few things well. But I find his drums do almost everything well. They're, they're very flexible. You can take one of the deep snare drums and tune it really high and it will be, it will respond really crispy. Uh, you can take one of the thinner shelled, uh, he's got, I think he has different thicknesses to the metal shells, but some of the thinner shelled kits also project very well. Um, variety of tunings is possible, variety of applications is possible, so I like that about the drones. You can use them in a lot of different situations. Both live and studio, um, particularly the snare drums in the studio have, have been very useful to me. Um, be, I think because of this flexibility, um, there have been times I've been able to take one snare drum and get, you know, four or five different sounds out of it for the record because quite often doing, during the course of a recording, I like to change the sound depending on the song. And uh, the snares that, that Masoff is making, I, I find are flexible enough where I can I can bring one snare and, and cover most of the bases. So. 